Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the health and wellness spot. Now, this is basically a review of gout. We've done a video about gout and we'll be sure to connect that link down below so that you can watch uh, the video about gout. However, we want to also uh, learn a new method of just clearing this uric acid from your system. Remember, gout is a condition of accumulation of crystals of uric acid in your joints and therefore it causes, causes this pain and inflammation in those joints. So you cannot bend your hands, you cannot bend your fingers, you're feeling pain. And uh, as usual, you'll walk to a hospital and what you'll be told is you have to buy these drugs for gout, the colchicines and the stuff, and start using them for your gout condition. Now, here becomes an easier way to handle uric acid. Okay? So basically, uric acid, or the one that is responsible for causing you gout, is a byproduct of protein metabolism, as I just indicated here. So proteins are broken down to purines, and these purines are the ones that are broken down to give you uric acid as the end product. Then, accumulation of this uric acid in your system, sometimes it precipitates, specifically when your, uric, your urine uh, pH is low, so it's basically acidic. So they precipitate and accumulate or settle in your joints and they will cause you the pain. So that is gout, possibly a preview about gout. So an increase in uric acid in the system means you're breaking down too much proteins and getting this uh, uric acid which is highly in the system. And remember uric acid is the one that will cause your, uh, your urine to become highly acidic. Now, if at all you get to a highly acidic urine, what do you do? That is basically what I'm going to tell you here. Now I want you to remember that uric acid, accumulation of uric acid is not as a problem of intake or dietary protein intake. Why am I saying that? Because sometimes when you're fasting, not even sometimes, most times when you're fasting, there's an increase in the amount of uric acid in your system. And that tells you even without eating proteins, you will still have an increased amount of uric acid in your system. Why? Because uric acid plays an important role in your system as an antioxidant and therefore it boosts your immunity. So it plays a role as an antioxidant and therefore uh, you cannot blame it as such and call it a bad thing just because you've, uh, you, you've uh, uh, gotten into gout condition. Okay? So uric acid plays a very important role as a stabilizer of acidic environment in the stomach and also as an immune uh, system booster. So acidity of urine is the problem. Now, the problem of uh, the gout problem originates from intake of sugar. So now remember, the system, your body, produces 85% and above of the uric, require, uric acid in your system. And therefore only 15% comes from diet, 15 to 20%. That tells you, even if you are told you have gout and now you have to stop eating meat, red meat and organ meat for that matter, you will not recover from gout. Why? Because the problem is not in the intake of uric acid or the intake of protein or the intake of purines. The problem is in the elimination of excess uric acid. And where is uric acid eliminated from? The kidneys through urine. Now that's why it gets interesting because kidney problems, the number one problem, the number one cause of kidney failure or kidney problem is sugar in all forms, be it fructose, be it uh, glucose, a bit sucrose, all these forms of sugar are the ones that are responsible for uh, a condition called diabetic nephropathy. Okay, so destruction of the cells in the kidneys, what we call nephropathy. Okay, so diabetic nephropathy. Diabetic to mean high blood sugar, then nephropathy, nephropathy to mean destruction of cells in the kidney. So sugar is the number one cause of kidney problems. And now if you have a kidney problem, that means you will not eliminate uric acid. And the result is an increase in uric acid in your system. When it increases in the blood, and then chances of it precipitating and uh, landing into your joints to cause you these problems are very high. So basically that is how it happens. Now, uh, the system wants you to believe that red meat is the problem because they want you weak, sick and depressed. So if you avoid red meat, Mostly people who avoid red meat get into more problems uh, than they are trying to solve. So you've been avoiding red meat, you've been taking your, 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 your gout drugs, and the gout is not going anywhere. Why? Because the system wants you to go back and purchase drugs so that you can enrich them and you can exhaust your pockets uh, on drugs. 
So diet is the ultimate treatment for these uh, issues, the chronic conditions. So if you drop sugar, then you recover your kidney cells, the nephrons, they recover. Once they start recovering, then you start clearing uric acid from the system. And that will lower your blood level of uric acid and that will help you recover from the precipitation of uric acid in joints. Also remember, the, hormone co the, the sugar called fructose causes a fatty liver and also alters the metabolism or breakdown of uric acid uh, to eliminate it. Okay, So fructose is a very dangerous sugar. Again, it activates enzymes that uh, convert purines into uric acid. So there's a problem, a larger problem that lies in sugar than we think. And therefore, as uh, human beings, we we'll always want to play victims. We want to blame something else. The same way we blame uh, salt for problems that have been caused by sugar. It's the same way we're, we're blaming red meat here for the problems that have been caused by sugar. So uh, it's my pleasure to bring to you this information so that you get to understand that the problem has never been eating red meat. Okay, So vegans might suffer these conditions more than people who eat uh, red meat and for that reason of taking sugar and destroying your kidneys. So protect your kidneys and your liver by all means. Okay, So now if you get into this condition, what do you do? What do you do to solve the problem? Because at the end of the day, you are now uh, suffering from gout and you have high blood sugar. So number one thing is you have to drop this sugar. You have to drop these uh, seed oils that get you to into... Uh, get you into inflammatory conditions and gout is part of the inflammatory conditions seed oils will enhance inflammation so that will worsen gout so drop seed oils drop sugar in all forms be it fruits be it honey uh, be it table sugar and basically limit your carbohydrates intake make it as lower as possible even five percent of your plate let it be carbohydrates and let it be complex carbohydrates beans green bananas butternut uh, 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 pumpkin Green, uh, sweet potatoes and arrow roots. So basically those six are the best sources of complex carbohydrates that you can enhance or you can eat in conjunction with proteins and vegetables. So that is a brief uh, uh, review. Now the solution when you now have the gout, what do you do? Because remember urine is highly acidic, then you have these joint pains and all this. So how do you clear them? The solution is not in running to the pharmacy to buy drugs for gout. The solution lies in alkanization of urine. Alkanize means making it basic. Remember, if you make urine basic, then you'll excrete all substances that uh, the uric acid will go out. Now, how do you alkanize urine? How do you make your urine basic? Number one thing is potassium citrate. Now, these are supplements that are available and you can buy them. And once you buy them, you use them, then they will form, they will make your urine to become basic and therefore they will help you recover from gout. That is number one. Number two is vegetables. Basically, vegetables, cruciferous vegetables. You keep talking about cruciferous vegetables uh, in both management of estrogen, in both uh, management of gout problems, and now in management of uh, gout. Okay? So we talk about it in estrogen, we talk about it in diet, goiter, and thyroid problems. Now we are talking about it in gout. Okay? So consume vegetables in higher amounts because vegetables have enzymes that break down uh, uric acid to give uh, uh, to, to 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 help you eliminate it, and also they also alkanize urine, so that makes sense. Okay, then baking soda. Basically, this is a basic uh, compound. Baking soda should be used even in brushing your teeth. However, do not use it directly to on your teeth because uh, it might bring problems to your teeth. So you can dissolve it in water and brush your teeth using baking soda. So if you realize in this channel we are already running away from uh, from from commercial toothpastes. We are going uh, to salt, we are going to activated charcoal and baking soda. Okay, so this will also help you alkanize urine and recover from gout. Number two, so that was alkanizing urine. And alkanizing urine, you use these three, baking soda, vegetables, and potassium citrate. So number two has to be SCV, apple cider vinegar. Now, there's a controversy here. Apple cider vinegar is supposed to acidify urine because it's acidic in nature. However, it is the only acid that... Uh, surpasses this rule or contradicts this rule because if you take uh, an increased amount of SCV then you will get alkanization of urine okay so we'll be sure to uh, to find this study and put it uh, down below so that you can get to read and understand where uric acid, where SCV comes in in uh, alkanization of urine okay good number three has to be vitamin C now vitamin C is found in sour carrot fermented cabbage I keep insisting on fermented cabbage because I know it is a superfood so you need to use some fermented cabbage. It has high content of vitamin C 
And also, the lemon has high content of vitamin C. However, the lemon peel is the one that has the highest content of vitamin C in that lemon, not the lemon juice. Okay, so most of you peel the lemon and then you boil the, the juice or you, you blend the, the, the remaining part, the fleshy part. You're missing out on vitamin C because the highest amount of vitamin C is in the peel. So if you have to blend it, blend the entire lemon, including the peels. Now, another thing on, the, on this uh, lemon, do not boil it because vitamin C can be destroyed by heat. So what you do, boil water, put it in a jar, let it start cooling down. Once it hits uh, the warm uh, temperature, then you can dip in your cut, your chopped off uh, um, uh, lemons. Once you do that, then it starts excreting it, also starts sucking it out. After like 10 to 30 minutes, then take it, sieve it and press and drink your juice. That is a high content of vitamin C. Okay, so take note of that. Then number four, we have glucose and fructose. So basically drop sugar in all forms. Sugar is the enemy. Proteins are not the enemy. Sugar is the enemy. So drop fructose, which is fruit and honey sugar. Then drop all processed foods because most of those juices and processed foods have fructose. As they call it maybe fructose syrup. Uh, so you read the ingredients and you'll see fructose syrup and then they say sugar again so it's basically double tragedy so all juices soda carbonated drinks avoid them anything that is processed will also increase your levels of fructose and fructose is the number one leading sugar in a fatty liver so you'll alter the enzymes that are supposed to help you break down these foods and give you healthy uh, nutrients then glucose of course is a, the, the end product of breakdown of all our uh, most carbohydrates. And this one will raise your blood sugar. And once it raises your blood sugar, then again the cycle continues. You end up getting the gout because now you're killing the, the kidneys. Once you kill the kidneys, uric acid starts to accumulate. And that precipitates to cause you gout. So the problem is always in sugar. The problem in gout is not in intake, but the excretion. And the excretion problem is in sugar because of affected kidneys. Okay? So be cautious about this. So that is how you alkalize urine and that is how you neutralize uric acid and recover from gout conditions.